Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to those in the past and the present and those weird folks in the future. We know who the real weird ones are though. Welcome back to another video and uh, the video I've edited the most, I'd say. The video I've wanted to do the least, the video I really thought, do I have to, is here. JW and his 20,000 picks. You know, they're just over there. Very small, you have to really sort of squint to see them. Um, but I couldn't fit them in it, have I? Literally, I had to make it smaller. The only time I've had to make a team smaller to fit them into the side of the screen. But there you go. Cheers, AW. Thank you very much. But welcome back, everyone. Hope you're doing very well. Um, second team today on a Thursday. Um, let's get straight into it. Quinton de Kock and James Vince opening the order for me. Um, could have Devon Conway there. But I reckon Vincey will do the job. Um, I think it's a solid lineup. I think having Quinton de Kock there it is a risk. He has struggled in a skip before, but 2020 format allows the slower players, which sometimes Quinton de Kock can be a, st a bit of a slow starter, gives him time to settle into the game and explode later on. James Vince in there, homegrown player. I mean, need I say more? Um, I think a really good pick as well. Um, and give you a little bit of bowling as well, if needs be. Um, Devon Conway, I've stuck at three. He could open, but you've got two left-handers there um, if there's an opening. So I stuck him at three for that exact reason. Uh, William Jacks at four. Again, another person that can give you some all-round uh, batting, maybe a little bit of a spin as well. In fact, from four all the way down to 11, you have got people who can bat and bowl. Well, at least bowl. Batting is questionable with, uh, with Top Lee and Wheel, but... I think William Jacks is a good pick. Um, Zishan Maksud will come in as the associate player for me. You could have him or Picky of France, but I think Zishan is more of an all-round player. I'm um, at five. I've stuck Livingston at six. You could have him more uh, higher up, but I just think having him let loose towards the end of an innings, maybe, that's where his role is suited rather than having him come in earlier. You want to have him as short bursts and really fire up. You could have him earlier, takes him away from his game plan, has to try and play with the team for a bit, and he maybe loses his wicket. So I've had stuck him at six. Granddaddy de Grunholmen at seven, surefire thing. We'll bat at seven, we'll bowl a few overs, and we'll probably bowl them around 30 mile an hour pies. He won't get hit for anything. He's a really good pick. One of the picks that I think is uh, one of the best picks of the um, of the whole skit. And then Winindu Hasaranga in at eight, the young spinner. Another young spinner, Tom Soul at nine. I think they're really good picks. Leg spin and off spin, they'll really work well together. I think Tom Soul could even be an option on some surfaces to open up the bowling. Um, I think he's a really good pick. Um, both of them are. And it will give them options. Really give them options. There's a bit of a mystery spin in Lee Livingston. So I think, and also William Jacks as well, I think maybe bowl a few. I don't think Zishan will bowl too much, but he's got the option to as well. I think there's some really good options for spin in that front 11. And then top Lee of the left arm, Brad Wheel of the right arm. Um, they really are two good options for both left and right arm. I think Brad Wheel was a superb Scottish pick. Reese Topley can really get a bit aggressive um, and bowl into the body um, and do that really well. Brad Wheel can hit line and length and do that for days upon days so I think that's a really good top 11 in terms of the bench though there isn't too much I think I can see coming in and making too much of an impact I can see Azzy Shah and Ollie Hares coming in um, potentially for maybe more of a, a more I say balanced attacking approach because you have got only three um, out and out batters in that team the rest of them can bowl a bit um, if they consider the batter I can also see Harry Tector coming in um, I think he's a decent um, top order player for Ireland. Comes in as homegrown as well. Maybe even John Simpson if Quinton de Kock is performing. John Simpson come in. Maybe that's six or seven roll and get the gloves. Um, that's not a bad shout. I think Picky of France will um, will match uh, or swap her with uh, Zisha Maksud every now and again. And in terms of everyone else, I can see Marco Jansen coming in maybe. Hasaranga if the surface requires another pace bowler. Maybe even Mark Adair for a bit of raw pace. I think that's a really good pick, Mark Adair. And I think a few people at the time, myself included, were quite frustrated with that pick because that was going to be my out-and-out -out pace option. And I didn't really have room to bring in Billy Stanlake, who would have been the only other person I could have got for raw pace. Um, so that left me a bit, um, a bit out there, really. But I think that's a really good team at front 11. I do worry about maybe some of the, uh, the changes that might have to come in. 
uh, midway through. Um, I do think there's a, a, not that much depth. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of players, but there's not that much quality depth that you get with other teams. But it does mean that JW can change pretty much any player in his team. That is one thing that not many teams have. If his front eleven doesn't perform, he could literally change the entire thing. But that is a uh, unique, let's say. Let's put it that way. Um, but we've heard enough from me. Let's hear what the manager JW has to say about his own team. I think my draft went quite well. I got most of the players I wanted. Perhaps could have got a stronger pace bowler, but there is lots of depth in the squad to rotate the players who are sent to censored, 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 censored. I'm really excited to see how Hasaranga gets on in the skit and wanted Van der Merwe in my team. So you have it. Quite interesting. I think you need a more... Um, a better pace option. I do think Mark Adair is, is quite a good option and the fact he can probably do a job at 9 or 8 or even 7 and um, still be good with the bat so I do think Mark Adair is a bit of a player that maybe is going to be slept on by J uh, JW but I think really could be quite crucial and quite vital to the team. But as I've said it is a very very bowling heavy team in that front 11. You probably won't see five bowlers used all using in four overs. You'll see the odd over come in from Liam Livingston, from maybe even Max Sood, from Will Jacks maybe, um, occasionally in games. Why not? Use them whilst they're there. That's the exact reason they're there. You could see Tom Sol about higher up. You could see Hasaranga about higher up. You could see a lot of changes in the team. You could see people come in. I think it's um, exciting really for JW because it's really hard to predict the team. And you could even see Hayes, Shah, Tector, or Simpson come in at the top of the order knowing JW. But there you have it. That is it from me. Thank you all for watching. I can confirm this is factually true. You've been an audience, at least. Um, live again in an hour or so, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure exactly the time yet. It all depends on what I'm doing for work. But, yes, I'll be doing it. Thank you all for watching. You have been an audience. And I'll see you all again very soon.